Hello everybody and welcome to our second episode of our post credit scene, as I like to call it, of our Gondor campaign in 30 Age of War Divide and Conquer. So like I previously said in the Rune video, the campaign has become wholly unstable, um, just kind of impossible to keep playing because it crashes every 5 seconds, even if I'm not accessing Gobbletophilus. Just anywhere on the map it just starts crashing and doing weird shit. So last episode we faced Rune. We were able to take care of our big enemy, the only ones that were truly still able to challenge our rule over Middle-earth. So now we can start mopping up, as I like to call it. You can also see the Pinneth Gallon Cavalry with armor upgrade in action, which I don't think we saw in the campaign. They have those cool pauldron designs. And today, as you can already tell by the thumbnail, we are facing Rohan. So, because we're facing Rohan, I of course prepared for that, which I would naturally do if we were also doing it in the campaign. So I brought along uh, three units, which is quite a lot of Asgillian veterans, fully decked out, simply because they can deploy stakes. They're an excellent unit, but it's mainly the stakes, because obviously, seeing as we're playing as Rohan, they have a shit ton of cavalry. So the same reason that I also bought some Fountain Guard, and then of course uh, Citadel Guard to protect the line. Let's actually move these troops back a little bit because they're kind of in the way. Uh, we have some Lazarnic Axemen to attack on the flank as well as some regular old infantry which we will keep on the left flank here. And then we also have some regular old spearmen to kind of fill out the line and provide extra defense where necessary. Alright, I think everyone's in position. It's just Quickly gloss over our army, see how sexy it looks. Oh man, look at those armor upgrades, it looks so nice. Without armor upgrades they look kind of lame in my opinion, but with armor upgrades they look most excellent. As you can see the balance of power is bang on in the middle, slightly in our favor, even though I, you know, I just used the same budget for both factions. And here we are. Rohan. So they do have some infantry because otherwise it'd be a little bit too easy I'm afraid. Uh, but their army is half cavalry with the royal god being their general obviously which does kind of represent Theoden. Now I don't see what their other cavalry... okay there they are. So they got some uh, shield maidens, some Riddermark axemen, a couple of Rohan riders. Riders of the fold right there, very good missile cav. Alright, so our Asgillead veterans are taking aim. They of course have Helmingus, which are a good unit, they're a strong hybrid unit, seeing as they have 16 defense and 5 missile attack isn't horrible, but it doesn't really compare to any other. So they got 11, 5, 16, if you look, take a look at our units, 12, 6, 22, so just all around better. But not a horrible unit, definitely not. If you're uh, defending Helm's Deep, they will do nicely. So I'm a little concerned. These guys are already trying to shield me as Ron. Should probably try to disable their missile calf. They did a lot of damage without me paying attention. So these are a javelin unit. So we should be able to outclass. They're playing quite defensive. Not sure if that is the right play for them to be doing, but... Okay, I need to protect our Lozarnic X-Men because they're getting rushed. Ah, Riddermark, the heavy, uh, heavy cavalry. They are excellent units. Here they come, and they still managed to intercept my Lazarnic Axemen. Devastating result right there. Royal Guard is charging in, and of course our archers are taking aim at them. So I do believe if we were still playing the campaign that Rohan would be our next target. Okay, so the shield minions are absolutely destroying my Pinnit Gallon Calf, which I did not very much expect. These guys are running into the stakes. They will regret that. Alright, get back in line. Time to pull back our archers. Let our fountain guard do the heavy lifting. As he keeps running into our stakes like an idiot. Oh, ooh, we just flew off. 
Now he's up against our pikes. As King Theoden himself is engaged in battle, look at that. He might die very early on if he does that. So all those Arnak Axemen got destroyed by their cavalry. They're playing very well. Some Aeodet heavy swordsmen, which look very cool. I like their more... I think it's kind of Hungarian inspired? They just have like an Eastern European medieval vibe to them. I don't want to rush into my own stakes. Don't want to do that. Help your friends out. I could potentially run in here. The guards of Midasult look absolutely fantastic. I wish there was a cavalry variant of them. One of our units already routed, which is the Pinneth Gallon Cavalry. Let's see if we can charge them. It's a little bit risky, but... I think we kind of have to. Uh, let's see. A risky charge in the Guards of Medicilt, which are cutting through our lines quite effectively. And also the Guard of the Caves, the Dwarven unit, which look really cool. Okay, I think it works out. Yeah, we're not hitting any stakes, it seems. Maybe a little bit here. Alright, pull out. Get those Ruan Riders in the back. They should drop pretty easily. Oh no, they killed our general. The Reader Mark Heavy Axemen destroyed them. Rowan's putting up a much better fight than I anticipated. I'm of course not microing as well as I should be, probably, but... They are doing a lot of damage to us. We should probably send our Citadel Guard in to help. Which these are already doing. Get those Eoret Heavy Swordsmen, please. Alright, come on, cavalry. Not Royal God still standing. Uh, they're even pulling back. The Ruan Riders are causing disruption in my lines. Uh, they're playing pretty well. I will give them that. Let's just appreciate the, the Dwarven unit a bit more. Look at them. Ah. I just like the combination of the Rohan armor and weaponry design-wise with then Dwarven elements as well. The Rohan shield, the Rohan kind of chainmail. Very sexy. Alright. That Royal God's not doing anything right now, so if we could just shoot them, that'd be great. All right, infantry, time to help your fellow men. Knights, you are kind of not in a good angle. Let's see if you can go for uh, Theoden. Assassinate the king. Lore-wise, Rohan was gifted um, to the people. I think by Gondor or its predecessor, but I think it was already Gondor. So I guess we're kind of just reclaiming what... It was once ours. We gave it as a gift, but now we are reclaiming it. I guess we forgot to mention the gift was only for a certain period of time. There we go. Killed King Theoden. Nice. Very sexy unit. I love the ponytail on their head, but they are about to die. Nice. Alright. So it does seem we are clutching the win here. We simply outclassed their units, that's the thing. Even with all the cavalry, we're just better. If we take a look at their Guard of the Caves, for example, 1426 is very high. Not that high for a Dwarven unit, but if we take a look, that's their elite. That's probably the best unit they have, 1426. Argonor infantry is 1121. It's not that much worse, you know? If we take a look, Gods of Medassault, 1128. But then take a look at our elites, 1130, simply better. Also, cheaper. 
Uh, Arid Heavy Swordsman, just a regular Swordsman. 11 17. 11 21. We're just better on all sides. Which does, uh, of course, negatively impact them. But it makes sense. I mean, Rohan is not so much a uh, pitch battle. Well, more of a pitch battle, but not an all out war uniform organized military faction, you know? It's different from a Gondor. But I do very much like Rohan. I'd, I'd love to do a campaign on them. I did a campaign once, many, many years ago, but that failed miserably. So perhaps it is time to revisit that at one point. When version 4 comes out. We'll do many campaigns. I do estimate that at one point I'll have done every campaign in the game. We still have a lot ahead of us, but we've already completed a couple. And I don't think Rohan will be one of the last we'll do, because that's one I'd very much like to play. Alright. But I would like to see an, an update to Rohan, because when I was com composing their uh, army setup, they don't have that many units. They actually have a small amount of units. And they have nothing that's too exciting. I guess the Royal Guard being their, their coolest unit. Or maybe the Guards of the Caves, because they got that one's Warven unit. Of course, the Gods of Metasol are also a very strong unit, as you can tell by the fact that they're holding out so long. As Gilead veterans are slowly running out of ammo. And we are running... Off the last of the Helmingas, it seems. Just one unit left. Which one more smash should do it? Yeah, there you go. No, wait. More Helmingas here. It's just the guards of uh, Metasol that are holding. They are holding very nicely. Very cool unit. Alright, Gondor Spearman. Battle's pretty much over. Ah, there we go. If I take a look at the stats, they had slightly less units than us. Uh, but overall, we just performed much better. They got a couple kills. Killed about... Uh, well, less than half. If we take a look at who killed the most, probably the cavalry. Yes. Not this one. These got destroyed by the shield maidens. But then the Knights of the Silver Swan, as usual, getting a lot of kills. Gondor Spearman also doing very well. 115 over there. Uh, Fountain Guard also getting a lot of kills without taking much damage. That's their strength. Um, so the one unit, 109 remaining, lost six persons, of which one was the general. <laughs> so that wasn't uh, that wasn't very amazing. But okay, there we go. That's Rohan beaten. So I'm not sure who will be next on our list. We still have to take care of Dolamroth, who betrayed us in the final episode. Um, and then we kind of have to start moving north. So I guess maybe the Elves or maybe the Anduin Vale would be next. And at one point we'll also have to face Linden, which is, I think right now, the second strongest faction. Uh, besides us, of course, because uh, after we beat Rune. So yeah, thanks for watching, I hope you guys enjoyed it, and I hope to catch you next time. Bye-bye!